that it was primarily whites that did uh, absolutely tragic things to the nation. All right, so this comment right here, um, I do agree that it was primarily whites that did uh, absolutely tragic things to the Native Americans. So I decided to research this and see if there was any other races involved. So I'm going to get out of the way here so you can take a look. Okay, and it turns out that there are black infantry regiments that were deployed to combat Native Americans. So this leads me to believe that it's not as much about race as we thought, but it's about power and control and ownership of the land. So I did some more research as to what the government did to Native Americans, which I'd already heard a lot of it, but I wanted to go down the rabbit hole a little bit further. Turns out it's primarily the British because prior to their occupation at the end of the Seven Year War in like 1763 or something, um, a lot of the land here in the United States was owned by France and they had a peaceful existing relationship uh, with the Native Americans. So I started researching how Great Britain um, got their hands on the land, why they went through that war, and I found some interesting connections, okay? So now we're going to go all the way back to 1493. I'm going to get out of the way again, and I just want you to read what's here. Um, I read more into this, and basically the Pope declared Native Americans uh, savages, and they had no rights to their lands because they didn't follow the Christian God. So this leads me to believe that it was never really about race anyways, okay? Um, and honestly, I don't feel it was ever about religion. I feel it's always been about power and control and who has had the power over the last um, 2,000 years, okay? There's different points in history where different civilizations have power. Every race throughout history has been subject to horrible, horrible things. These horrible things were done by regular people like us, who believed in what they were being told and the narrative that was being pushed, which was often race and religion. And these concepts are far older than 2,000 years because if you start to look throughout history, um, every culture and every race has used these guidelines to divide and separate and create harm for people of this earth. What I'm saying is at this point, we have a duty to be aware of the divide and to bring awareness to it so that people can see it for what it is so that we can break down these social constructs that are no longer serving us um, as a people, as a collective, as humanity. And honestly, once people start letting go of constructs like race and religion and that divide, there's a pretty good chance that humanity will all turn out to be the same color in the end anyways. Alright, so this comment right here, um, I do